Well, hello, everybody. A lot of art business coaches out there are lying to you. And I'll tell you what, I'm really mad about it. I'm not, I'm not being dramatic. I just saw a post that a coach posted that was telling artists that even if they are just starting out, they should have higher, high prices. And I'm going to tell you why this is so harmful. This advice hurts artists. And I'm going to give you my reasons why and my experience and what I've heard from other artists that I've worked with. Okay. Um, but first of all, I want to say my name is Maria Brophy and this is the Art Money Success Podcast. And you are joining me in my backyard on a summer day. And I was sitting on here getting a suntan and of course scrolling Instagram when I saw yet another ad from one of these art business coaches, quote unquote, and I say quote unquote, because I'm going to tell you, they are, there, there's a lot of people out there making money, giving artists advice on how to make money with their art when the coach themselves have never figured it out. This is what makes me so mad. And it makes me mad because I don't think it's fair to take somebody's money and give them bad advice, making them lose more money. And you know what happens? Those poor artists that are the victim of bad advice, they get so discouraged and they think it's their own fault and they think they're doing something wrong and they think they will never make it. And that breaks my heart. One of the artists that I coach, she had told me, I want to say this was about a month ago. She said, oh my gosh, Maria, your advice has helped me. She said, I spent over $4,000 on this artist coach who told me to raise my prices, raise my prices, raise my prices. I did that. I didn't make a sale for months and months and months, and I just got so discouraged. And so I really had to walk her through the, the true value of her work as it is to the consumer, to the buyer. Okay, your work might be worth a million dollars, but if nobody's going to spend a million dollars on it, guess what? The value, the market value of it is not a million dollars. It's whatever you can get for it. So I'm going to share with you some things to think about when you're pricing your work. And I also want to encourage you to hit subscribe if you want the real deal, the real information. I'm never going to bullshit you. I am never going to fluff things up and tell you that if that you could charge a lot of money for your art when you can't, okay? Because that's going to mess you up. So um, hit subscribe. And hey, while you're at it, in the description, there will be a link to my inner circle, my artist newsletter, all free stuff all free stuff, free information, and I'd love for you to sign up. So here's what I want you to think about. If you're an artist that's just starting out, right? And let's say you haven't sold anything and you've created a 24 by 36 inch painting and you know that other artists that have been working, selling their art for 20, 30 years, also make 24 by 36 inch paintings paintings and they're selling their paintings for five thousand dollars and you think oh i can get five thousand dollars for my painting at the same size so i want you to consider a couple things one if you are brand new to the art world then you don't have buyers yet you don't have collectors you are starting from zero the second thing is if you are new to art, let's say you've been creating art for five years. Okay, you're new and you haven't sold anything yet. Trying to sell your painting for the same price that a 30 year veteran of art is selling theirs for is like trying to sell somebody a Honda at the price you would pay a Tesla for. You get that? Like somebody who's been making art for 30 years, seven days a week, full-time is going to have a lot more value to their work. You can't just start out at those high prices. 
And these business coaches that tell you, that are telling you that you can, they are full of crap. Just saying, they are full of it. I'm mad. It makes me so mad because they're stealing money from you and giving you bad advice. And hey, you know what? If you worked with one of those coaches and you were brand new and you sold your first painting for six or ten thousand dollars, man, I, that's a good that's a good thing. And I'm so happy for you. And let me know. And I will use you and your happy story in one of my future podcasts. And maybe we could break it down and figure out how you made that happen. Okay. Uh, it will be a rare thing. It will be a rare thing. I'm not saying it's impossible, but rare. Um, let's see. I So w one other thing to think about this, okay? So your pricing should match what the consumer is willing to pay. Now, there are consumers that are only willing to pay $10, and hey, they might not be your consumer. You have to go and find the people who are going to pay the prices you're going to charge, number one. Number two, the prices have to match the quality of materials, the quality of the craftsmanship, of the um, skill level, and um, it's kind of like, you know, an unripe tomato compared to a ripened tomato. You can't really sell an unripe tomato to somebody that's hungry today. You have to wait for that tomato to ripen. That's a good analogy. I'm going to use that one again. <laughs> so in conclusion, don't take bad advice from people who aren't making money off their own art. Okay. And while I am not an artist, I sell art. I sell my husband's art. I have an art gallery. And I've had artists come in and want to have me sell their art. And if their prices don't match what I think it should be, I'm not going to be able to sell it. And if I can't sell it, I can't bring it in to the gallery because I have to pay rent. I have to pay my salary. I have to pay all my bills and the people who work for me. Um, so it has to, the pricing has to line up with the value. That's it. That's all I got to say. And I hope that this gives some of you hope because if you've been overpricing your work, that is why it's not selling. Bring it down. Bring it down to earth just a little bit. And here's when you can go higher on the prices. After you've sold a few pieces, you can start inching your prices up. After your demand, the demand for your work raises, that's when you can raise your prices. And also your mental um, thoughts have to align with those prices as well. Because if you're trying to charge a lot more than something's worth, you feel that. And then when you feel that, you're not as confident when you're showing your work and talking about your work. And then your lack of confidence kills the sale. So there's a, there's a lot to this. And I should probably talk about this a lot more. Um, I was trying to keep this uh, podcast to under 10 minutes. And um, I could spin it off in so many different directions. <sighs> But that is my rant for today. I love you all. And I really want to see you be successful. I truly, truly do. And I will never steer you wrong. I will never steer you wrong because I care that much. All right. Hit subscribe, join my newsletter list, and have an amazing rest of your day. Love you all.